Hey yo, what is going on guys? Kalahandro here and welcome back to the episode of Magayon. In this episode, we're going to be building the waterfront of Magayon. Well, specifically the waterfront beside the boulevard near Lundian, which I built in the last episode. So if you haven't seen that, it's right here. It's a city center, a mixed use city center. And yeah, now I'm building these residential apartments tall buildings now if you aren't familiar with where i'm taking inspiration for this build uh, magayon is city skyline series loosely inspired by various southeast asian cities and now we're taking a lot of inspiration from the philippines manila in the philippines and specifically manila bay so yeah this is inspired by ross boulevard in manila as you can see there is a road that is parallel to the boulevard and it serves as the um, access road for the buildings near it and the boulevard is um, a bypass road because you know and it also serves as parking this road separated from the boulevard and yeah these tall buildings right here um, they on their base they have like commercial spaces and because we want to have mixed use in this city we don't want to ha we don't have a lot of specific um specific zone the zoning in the city is not like per lot is one on one only zoning except the residential areas and pure commercial offices um, a lot of these are mixed use and yeah you'd see me place a small jollibee right there yeah lang hap sarap for my filipino fans we have a jollibee at the corner best place to have a uh, restaurant with you know of course mcdonald's on the other corner and yeah this isn't like we have i'm using the technique or i'm not using a technique it's like the way these areas are built are they're like a conglomerate of various buildings um together to form like just imagine this entire like area there those three those two towers and the buildings below it is owned by one developer and they have restaurants and uh their own road and parking and you'd see me place a parking area right there but it's small and just imagine that we have a lot of underground parking in this area because in real life there is i think there's mostly underground or parking buildings but we don't have that space and we're just playing with space because look at the scale of this these buildings are actually vanilla assets and they're quite nice but they're small they're smaller compared to real life the size of real life buildings things because i want to put as much i because it's the, the city the scale of the city this project is small we have to use buildings that fit the size the, the vibe and this area is quite you know so that that's why i'm using a lot of vanilla assets for the residential apartment buildings and you'd see me later place more of those and yeah but the bases are, i think these are new zealand commercial buildings from the workshop and they're very nice and yeah you see me place you know another building and this one is Yes, you can see that it's very small, but you know, we're playing with scale here. It doesn't have to be 100% realistic. It just has to look and fit the vibe. But yeah, a lot of skips in this video because I just couldn't find the like the proper the right vibe for the built the buildings for what the style of the buildings would be. Um, I tried using those Japanese buildings and those Canadian ones, but I ended up using buildings from the green city steel green cities dlc because you know they have they have they're like the same buildings but with varying heights in each level like a building level one building going up to level five it's the same building with different heights so yeah i'd use that to the advantage and in the next episode we are going to be building more residential a bit more residential area because the city really needs people because if you didn't notice, the population is just 2,000 and the city needs the workers, the commercial spaces and the offices needs, need workers. So we have to build those and yeah, the next episode will be a continuation of this one. And you'd notice that this episode is a little bit shorter because this build took 
a long time to do but a lot of the footage is not shown because you just see me you'd be bored by the, this one this episode if i put all the footage because yeah you see me remove buildings place one remove and then place another one again and a lot of things didn't stay it, a lot of things didn't just fit it and this is like the struggle of building is you have to find the proper ones to fit the aesthetic because some some buildings that just don't match with each other so we have to be very mindful of what we place because yeah in the last episode i placed a glass building here in the financial center which i'm continuing i'm finishing off the financial center with these commercial blocks which are vanilla assets and you know not complaining these are nice and yeah i changed it later on to be more of the same um arts uh, architecture with the other buildings so that it wouldn't be too different because i want each part of the city to be unique and that just didn't you know didn't line up with the vibe of this place because this is a much older part of the city and it just has been retrofitted to it has just been retrofitted to today's standards because uh, it's a mix of buildings newer buildings with old ones and we don't want to have the newer buildings be too much of uh deviating too much from the architecture of the old ones it still has to hark back to what they looked like but in a more modern sense if you know what i mean but yeah you see me place that parking area right there because we need parking because there's not much parking here and the, the people still need parking so that they'd be able to go there because i have traffic president on and i'm using the advanced traffic um mode or something i advanced advanced parking yeah the advanced parking so that each citizen has to have a car or something because the pop i don't want the population to if i took the population like realistically uh, i don't think the game would be able to handle it but i still want to have a lot of traffic in the city even though the population is quite small so i opted for that and now you'd see me place these um green cities buildings and i had an issue where if you um use move it to copy and paste buildings they would despawn because i'm using i you've seen me place a lot of buildings plopping them instead of zoning because and also i have the what do you call this mod the make no building no despawning mod for each building and you have to um place these um special like buildings because this is a district style so originally you'd have to zone a district to become a green city's district but with this mod you can just place them wherever you like and they won't despawn unless if you use move it to copy and paste them so yeah pro tip but yeah it's uh you'd see me you know uh fiddle around with the placement of the buildings looking at the skyline the heights of the buildings because the city has very strict rules on how tall the how tall buildings can be depending on where they are because i've said it in the last episode that some places in the city must have unobstructed views of the capital building just like in london here's a picture of the map where specific places must have unobstructed views of saint paul's cathedral and Another technique that they use to um, another te that another technique that architects use to um, comply with this requirement is designing their buildings to slant a little bit so that the capital, the Saint Paul's Cathedral, would still be the prominent one in the skyline. And yeah, so I'm quite excited for the next episode because we're doing something like that, and we're also going to be building custom buildings using buildings like merging buildings together because yeah i love merging buildings together because buildings on their own can be quite boring so having the ability to merge buildings together especially with the same style like i have the green cities dlc and you see me uh, merge those buildings together because they're practically the same aesthetics i've said that they are just buildings with same buildings with different height depending on the levels and yeah uh now i'm detailing the inner road the access road for the the waterfront um apartments but 
I don't think they are actually apartments. Just imagine that they are like hotels because nobody would really be living that much in this place because of the noise along the boulevard. So, okay, here's how it's going to be. So the bottom part is commercial and offices and the middle part is going to be a hotel and the top part is going to be residential. Here's a little graph of it. I'm gonna show you a graph of the buildings. Yes. And now you can just see me place um, uh, outdoor seating because I want to give it a little bit more customization because if I put just an entire row of parking lots it would look boring and yeah we have to give it a little bit more of complexity simple complexity just making it look more unique and not to what do you call this to yeah you get my point and I'm also adding a lot of greenery and I'm, I'm just going to be using these smaller trees but I'm not going to be detailing the boulevard that much because I want a separate video for the entire boulevard and the park across the boulevard and where people can like stay and like I'm not gonna be using you know you see me place those trees right there they're not gonna be the final trees I'm gonna be changing them into the 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 trees that I placed on the other side, like the smaller ones, and yeah. Now adding in a lot more of these green roofs because I've said in the last episode that Magellan is going carbon neutral by 2030, and green roofs decrease the overall the overall heat island effect and the temperature in the city. So yeah. And the green cities, DLC, the buildings that they have, already have green roofs, so I don't have to manually place them all over. So it's kind of a win-win situation. You get um, nice similar buildings that are just varying in height, and they have green roofs already. So that's going to save me a lot of um, asset, like limiting the asset count. And I have a lot of comments saying that... Um, the nodes that I the, the nodes the node limit and the way I'm using pavement roads is kind of scary because I might approach the node limit and yeah I guess I have to rethink how I build my parts of the city in the future so that because I want Magallon to um, uh, last as long as it can. Um, but I also want it to have a lot of detail but I think we just have to keep it on a medium from now on unless it's a very specific important part of the city if you're just building another like thing like this i'll just keep it um medium detailed just make it look nice from afar and you know it's not too bare it has to still look like you put some effort in it even though you <laughs> did it because in the last episode the last few episodes i really had taken you know I've, been, I've kept i've been i got carried away with the amount of detailing and the foliage in the city and yeah i guess i've already said what needed to be said and yeah, the video is sadly coming to an end i know this is quite a shorter episode and i'm just experimenting with with like the formats of the episode because i also want to push out as much I, I know I, I want to push out more episodes but you know if I keep the like 20 minute or 30 minute long episodes it's gonna take me too much of an effort and I don't have that much time so I'm trying to make it into an 18 minute video and I've been you know having I've ex I've used too much time in building uh, I've got carried away sometimes I play for four hours and the amount that I build is not that much and it's a waste of time i want to limit you know put a limit on how long i build so that i won't get too carried away because the computer in the end it's in the end it's the computer who will suffer and we don't want it we don't want Magia to be short-lived like my last series but if you want to make Magayon last longer, go follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Kalehanja. Leave a like, comment down below what you want to see next, and consider subscribing so that you'd be up to date whenever I upload a brand new video.